report! Release the 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 report! a short notice rapid response rally. We're going to hear now from Jen Lunsford, who is a candidate for New York State Senate for which district? 55. 55! Woo! 55. Woo! We're going to turn it over. So thank you all for coming out today. I know it's short notice and it's a little bit cold, but patriotism waits for no weather and no time. That's right. So I don't know about you, but I'm getting real sick of having to stand on street corners and yeah. scream into megaphones yeah. to get our government to do what it's supposed to do, which is work for the people. Right. Yeah. yeah! I was yelling into a microphone in 2017 when I was demanding that a special prosecutor be appointed to investigate our president's obstruction of justice and potential ties to the Russian government. I was standing right here a couple months ago demanding that Robert Mueller be allowed to finish his work. And here I am again, standing right here with all of you, demanding that the fruits of that labor be released to the public and demanding that William Barr release the report. Release the report! Release the report! Release the report! Release the report! Now there are some legitimate reasons why you might want to redact portions of this report. There's classified information, information that could reveal means and methods. There could be in information relevant to other ongoing investigations, which I keep hearing them talk about like that's in some way exculpatory. That this report revealed so many other investigations, we can't possibly release this information to you because it's going to impact those investigations. And lastly, the concern that secret grand jury testimony could be revealed. It is in fact true that a court would have to release that information by order. That order could be requested by William Barr. It could be requested by Robert Mueller. It could be requested by a whole variety of people who aren't requesting anything, which is why I'm standing here today asking William Barr to release the report. Release the report. Release the report. Release the report. Thank you all for doing this in threes. You're picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> I believe in Robert Mueller's integrity. I believe in his honesty and his thoroughness. And I will accept whatever his findings are. But I will not accept William Barr's summary of what Robert Mueller's findings are. I do not for a moment believe that Robert Mueller or anyone in his team believe that Bill Barr should be the final stop in determining whether or not further repercussions should be brought from the investigation. This matter should go to Congress the same way it did with the Watergate break-in, the same way it did with Bill Clinton. There is a method for this. There is a process we go through. And right now, our government is trying to arrest that process. Which is why I'm standing here in front of all of you, demanding that William Barr release the report. Congress's job is to act as a check on the executive, is to form a blockade for presidential abuses and the national security risks that those abuses can bring upon us. And the job of the people is to act as a check on our government as a whole. I am asking you to stay awake. I am asking you to stay vigilant. I am asking you to continue being the patriots you are like this today. We are exercising our constitutional right to speech. 
to assembly and to protest. And I stand here today to promise you that I will scream into a megaphone every day and stand on all the street corners until we get the truth. I promise you I will not give up. Do you make the same promise to me? Yeah! Thank you so much for coming out today. Thank you so much for your patriotism. I'm just going to ask you one more time. What do we want? Release the report! Release the report! Release the report! Thank you. Have a great day. Release the report! Release the report!